Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn how to create our own function. Now, this particular tutorial is going to be really brief, simple, so you can understand how to create one. The next tutorial would be a little bit more advanced, so we're going to cover up and use our logic in order to create a function. This particular tutorial is only going to show you how to create a function, basically the structure and how to call it. That's it. So this is going to be really simple to understand. Now, in the previous tutorial, we learned how to declare a function. That's all we learned in the previous tutorial. Basically, declare a function that is already been created by some other user. So today, we'll create our very own function. Now, before I explain you how to create your own function, you should know that you can declare your function, you define your function in three different places. One is the one one way is the above the main, another is the inside the main, and one is the outside the main and below the main okay so three different ways to declare the function and now if you declare above the main okay up over here the thing is this function would be global access means it can be accessed inside the main and by other functions M means by entire program the function can be accessed if you declare inside the main the function it would be only be accessed inside the main it cannot be accessed outside the main or anywhere else and if you declare below the main it would be only be accessed by the functions by the other functions so it's really that simple global access inside main access and functions to function access it's really that simple so now we're going to create a function which multiplies two numbers and returns that value now any function not all of the function but most of the function that performs an operation returns a value so there are two types there's the void okay and then you've got the integer float or whatever right the void is basically something that does not returns a value now returning process is a little complicated to understand but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible in this case we're gonna multiply two numbers right a into B for example we want to return the answer of that so in order to return a value we need to use the written type integer or any other basically that is not void void is the one that is used when you don't want to return a value you'll understand as we start with the example again I'm gonna multiply two numbers now the basic format of a function is the written type the name of the function and the brackets so again I'm gonna the written type integer in order to return a value you need to give it a name to a function. I'm going to name it multiplication. You can name it anything else. Okay, absolutely anything else. Sorry for that. Multiplication, that's right. Now we want to pass, well, before that, we're going to declare our curly brackets. Okay, so this is basically like main, exactly like main as you can plainly see, and just that it has got an integer in the front and another name that's not main okay you can give it any name and now we want to write our statements in here now in order to write statements you need to pass the well parameters to it parameters are basically variables okay that's going to be operated inside this function now if I want to multiply into two numbers okay I need two numbers in this case two integer numbers int a int b okay I'm gonna multiply a into b so I have to declare these two parameters in here now if I don't declare this over here it won't work it's really that simple if you don't declare your variables you cannot use them it's the same as if you don't declare an integer i over here and you start using a loop and indexing with a variable i it wouldn't work because it's not declared so in order to use these variables inside the function you need to declare it inside these two brackets and these two well anything in these two brackets are known as parameters so now we want to multiply two numbers a into b alright we want to multiply a into b and we put in the semicolon okay so that's done but the thing is we want to return the answer so we just type in return a into b it's really that simple now getting inside the main I'll explain this in detail in a minute, okay? So I'm gonna declare two integers, x comma y. Okay? Semicolon. X is equals to let's say ten. 
and y is equal to 20. Okay, now we need to call the function. Now we call the function by the name of the function as it taught you in the previous tutorial. Multiplication, okay, is the name of the function. D brackets, again, that is what it makes this a function, right? So, sorry, I forgot the L over here. Multiplication. Now, over here, inside over here, we need to pass two integer values. As you can play, see, we have declared two integers. So we need to pass two integers. And in this case, we have got already two integers declared over here. So all we do is type in the integers x, comma, y. Okay? And put in the semicolon over here. So as you can plainly see, multiplication passed two parameters x into y. So that's what it's going to do over here. Now I'm going to declare another variable result in order to store the result. Okay? So let's just type in result is equal to multiplication of x into y. It's really that simple. Print f. I'm going to print the value of. Sorry for that. It's just installed Windows 8 and it just changed everything. Well, percent i, comma, ampersand, not ampersand, just the variable. Okay, you don't put ampersand in the printf. Now, if you run it, it would print 200. Again, I'm going to explain this from the starting. We created a function named multiplication with the written type integer because we want to return a particular value. Now we want to say that integer a and integer b. I want to work with these variables, right? I want to multiply these two variables, so I need to declare them. So yeah, I declared in this thing, which is known as the parameter list, okay? I declare as many integers as I want over here. So in this case, I only need two, so I use two integers. I return a into b in order to multiply those values. You can do it from a different way. You can declare another integer over here, result, and you can return the variable result as well. But this is much more simpler to understand, okay? Now that I've returned the value a into b, this function is all created. But the function never gets executed until I call it. And you can only call it inside the main. So going inside the main, I declare three variables, integer x, y, and result. All of them are integers. I initialize x to 10 and y to 20. Now I declare the function, well, not declare, call the function, and pass x, which goes over here, and y, which goes over here. Okay? So these values get replaced. So x would be a, and y would be b. And these values would be multiplied over here and then it would be get printed once we have the variable stored. It's really that simple. Now the thing is you won't understand the need of a function right now because we have just multiplied two numbers and well increase the complexity of the program by using a function. The thing is you can call this code 50 or 90 or infinite times in a program and if you wanted to do this inside the main you need to type in multiply a into b like as many times as you want. Here you just call the name of the function and that's it. You don't need to write the entire statement. Now this particular function is useless because it's just doing one thing. But what we have like l hundreds of lines of code written inside this function. We just call the function and it will execute all those lines for us as many times as we want. So this is the main use of the function. Now, it is possible that you are finding this a little difficult to understand. It is normal because function is a little bit difficult to understand. Even I found it really tricky when I started. I'm going to show you various more tutorials and it would really clear your concepts. So anyway, this has been a chat of the kiosk. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.